Hello, all of my wonderful, amazing, and fantastic biking friends out there. I am supercharged today because we are making lamb balls once more, except this time we are going to stuff them with some cheese. Yes, cheese. Can I have some cheese, please? Uh, give me some more cheese, please. The Scandinavian countries, they were adapted to eating a lot of cheese. And, well, I love cheese myself, so I make a lot of things with cheese. And today, we are going to make meatballs stuffed with cheese. Kind of a favorite. So, let's get started. First, we are going to take a block of regular cream cheese and we are going to soften it in the microwave. Super simple. This one kind of got broken into because my household eats cream cheese like it is going out of style. I'm going to send that in the microwave for a minute and clean up and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I softened the cream cheese, it just took about 30 seconds to get it really, really soft. In fact, it's kind of mushy, and that's okay. And now we're going to add, how many ounces? This is four ounces of goat cheese. We're going to add four ounces here. And then we are going to stir this really, really well. Incorporate it all. And this, you can add some seasonings if you want. So if you want to add garlic, you can add garlic and you can add onion. You can add anything you would like. Jalapeno. Okay, it is relatively incorporated. In fact, it looks absolutely delicious. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to take one pound of grass-fed lamb. Now, your local butcher might have lamb, may or may not, don't know. I got this at the grocery store. It was not on sale, but it was cost-effective. And so, well, I got lamb. So I'm going to cut this open. The knife. I just cut the back open like so. And I'm going to put this into a bowl. I'm going to get messy. So I'm going to take all my jewelry out. And then it floats around my home for about six months and then I find it again and then put it back on. I don't know if you have the same problem. Things kind of disappear and then reappear a couple months later. So now we have just a chunk of ground lamb meat and our cheese. Super simple, super easy. Now we just incorporate our ingredients. Onion powder and garlic powder. This is two tablespoons. And then this is marjoram. Interesting spice. Crazily enough, a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg. One quarter teaspoon each. And some flaky sea salt. And then we're going to incorporate this. Now you can get messy already and just use your hands or you can use a spoon for this part, but you will need your hands for later. One eternity later. Okay, now that it's combined, this is the tricky part. You're going to need clean hands. And the cleaner the better because you're gonna get messy again. 
what you're going to do is you are going to form balls around the cheese. But first, what we need to do is we need to incorporate some butter in our skillet and throw it on the stove, low heat, so that the butter can start melting and, well, getting nice and soft. What we're going to do is we're going to take just a large amount of lamb and kind of form it into a patty. And then we are going to take our cheese, dollop it, put it like so. And then we are going to form our lamb ball over the cheese. I have two balls here, and I'm going to throw them in the pan. Okay, okay. Jokes. Just make jokes, all right? I'm waiting. Yo, let me tell you about a story that's divine. Got a pair of balls. Yeah, I'm feeling so fine. Two solid spheres. They're my dynamic duo. Got M on the mic, and they're ready to show. In the game of life, they roll with no fear. Always standing tall. Yeah, they never disappear. With my two balls in hand, I'm breaking every rule. Two balls in the game, and they're shining bright, got the world in my palm, and I'm holding it tight, from the streets to the stage, yeah, I'm rocking the scene, with my two balls in tow, I'm living the dream. I got one in the back, and one up in the front, they're my partners in crime, yeah, they never blunt, they bounce to the beat, and they roll to the flow. With my two balls on deck, we steal the show. Dribbling through life, yeah, we're making it pop. With my two balls in hand, there's no way we'll stop. Whether game or grind, we're always on top, we got the strength and the swagger, and we're ready to rock. Two balls in the game, and they're shining bright, got the world in my palm, and I'm holding it tight, from the streets to the stage, yeah, I'm locking the scene, with my two balls in tow, I'm living the dream. Ain't no doubt, man, we're the kings of the play, with my two balls in sight, we're paving the way, from sunrise to sunset, they're my ultimate tool, with my two balls, I'm the boss, I'm the ruler of cool. Okay. Alright, now that we've grown up just a minute or two, okay, we're gonna stick this in the paint. Now that I have this in the pan, I can go ahead and just roll these around. Making sure to brown all the sides. Now that we have finished cooking lamb balls, we are going to cut into these. So beautiful, so brilliant, looks amazing. Now you have to make sure that they're cooked all the way through. So take your time and do not rush this project. And there we have it. Beautiful, beautiful. You can definitely serve these at any kind of dinner, any kind of exquisite function, or you can throw these together and make this just a common meal. Mm. That is absolutely divine. So there you have it, my friends. I am excited that I finished another amazing project 
Scandinavian style, I guarantee this will be a showstopper at your next party event or just a family dinner. Yo, be sure to H-slam that subscribe button and have the balls to share. And I'll see you next time. Liga tip. Score! Now your local birth. Now your local butcher might have lamb. Mm. Marvelous, marvelous. Mm. Now, once this is all combined, now I have two balls here. More than a lot of people I know. Aha! Sometimes, I got a little exuberated over here, and this got a little, well, I'm going to make a mess. Okay, so this is as easy as it can get. I'm going to take, oh my goodness, the chickens are going nuts out there. What are they doing? Are they fighting over an egg spot? 